Hello friend, this is Ryan Hicks of TalkToProfit.com. Today I want to talk to you about how making excuses leads to failure. So often in life I talk to people and they want me to mentor them and help them, but all they have is excuses for why they didn't do something. They have excuses. They want everything laid out in a perfect plan. Just open a book and today you do this, this, and this. They don't want to think or go forth in faith or anything. They just want everything laid out for them. And if it's not, then they just don't do anything. They just get paralyzed. And there's always an excuse. You can find the excuse for anything. Humans are great at justifying and rationalizing their inaction, their laziness, their lack of willingness to do the things they need to do. I'm going to tell you a little secret here. If you don't know what you need to do right now, the simplest thing to do is do anything. If you have the smallest thing, if right now what comes to your mind, what you need to do is sharpen a pencil, go sharpen the pencil. Because in doing that, you may then see a piece of paper near your desk that mentions something, and then that brings to mind another thing, and next thing you know, you have your plan of what you need to do. But the problem is most people won't do that. So they don't even take the least step and then they never get all the other opportunities that are coming their way that are right there waiting for them, just waiting and them take a few steps. And one of the hardest things with success is that everything is not planned out. It's not outlined for you. You don't know where you're going sometimes. Oftentimes, the vast majority of times, you're walking by faith. You have an idea that what you're doing is the right thing to do, but sometimes you may not. You may just know, okay, here's something I can do. I'm going to do it because it's better. And I know some people say, well, it's better just to sit back and do nothing than do something that might be wrong. But the reality is more often than not, that's not true because oftentimes, even in the midst of doing things that end up in failure, that's where you find the success. That's where you find the idea or the invention or the business or the, the direction you need to mold yourself to get to success. And you never would have got there if you didn't take some action. And one of the biggest problems people have is they want all their actions to be guaranteed, signed, sealed, delivered. They want a scroll floating out of heaven from God to them with an outline of what they need to do each and every day. And the end result promised and guaranteed and signed by the bank of heaven. Meanwhile, it's never been how it works. God will give you great favor and he'll make miraculous things happen beyond your effort. But the reality is you have to take some effort. You have to take some action. You have to do some things. And they may be simple things that don't seem like they matter don't seem like there's a lot of importance, don't seem like it's going to provide any value for your life, and yet it will. The scripture says that we walk by faith, not by sight. And I want to stress that today. You want success, God freely gives it to you, but you're going to have to walk. It doesn't say you sit around by faith, you walk by faith. You have to get out there and walk, and God will provide you great harvest and reward for your effort. Now, I know this may seem kind of simplistic, just do something, but you'd be amazed how many people don't do that. And if you look at your own life, if you're struggling right now, you might be able to be honest enough with yourself to admit that you've been doing that same thing where you just haven't taken any action. You've expected everything to be plain and obvious and laid out for you, or you're just not going to do anything. And getting paralyzed by fear and not walking, not walking in faith, that's not going to get you anywhere. So I want to encourage you today, just take some action. Like I said, it could be as simple as sharpening a pencil. It could be going to a store for whatever reason. You just have an impression in your mind, I need to go to this store. Go there. If you have an impression, I need to call someone, that keeps coming to your mind, keep coming back, I need to call this so-and-so, but you have no reason why to call them. But that keeps coming, call them. I've told people to do this, and they said, well, I had this idea to call my former boss, but it didn't make any sense. I didn't want to work at that company. They called the former boss. The boss is working somewhere new. After a few minutes of time, they're planning a new business together that they're going to go in together and be partners in. And it led to great success. Now, here is the reality. 
making that call which made no sense there was no logical reason for it and to do it seemed ridiculous led to great wealth and success but what if they didn't do that was that boss going to call them i don't know but probably not they probably were going to stay where they were never have any results and they would blame god they blame the universe they blame the devil they blame their fellow man they blame their family they blame whoever they'd have all kinds of excuses for why things didn't work out meanwhile those little tiny steps that they didn't take the little tiny actions they didn't do that's why they don't have success because they didn't do those simple things so i want to encourage you today my friend do whatever it is coming to your mind right just sit there Set back and say, God, please show me what I need to do. Show me the path that I need to go down, and I'll walk down it. You don't need God to drag you down the path. Just pray and seek his wisdom, and he gives wisdom liberally to all people. But here's the thing. He gives you the wisdom. Now you take action on it. And the wisdom may be something very slight, almost imperceivable, like calling someone or going to a store or going outside right now who knows it could be anything but just go do it take action and then as you start seeing success because you're taking action on all these little things that come in you'll start getting a bigger better picture of what you need to do and you'll start seeing bigger and better results so my friend i pray this is a blessing for you please make sure to send me a testimonial let me know if you've taken some action and what has happened because you've taken these little actions, what has changed in your life today? I pray this is a blessing for you. May God bless you richly.